The charging system has a wall box, which brings power from the grid, and a ground unit, which then projects power up toward the vehicle. And then we have a receiver unit on the car, which accepts that power and routes it into the battery. This display we've added to show the charging function and proximity as well as the charge rate. Now when the, dr when the manufacturer integrates this into the vehicle as a standard feature, this information would be displayed on this display. But for this upgrade, we've added a second display to do this. So now we'll go ahead and move toward the, toward the charging pad. Like you would in your garage or, or, uh, or your apartment. And it shows that we're uh, getting close to the charging pad. And once we get past that, then this screen will light up with the close proximity information. And as we get close, mm -hmm. it'll turn green. And that means we can start to park. So we'll put the brake on and put it in park. And once the car senses that it's in park, it means that charging can begin. So you see the wall box now flashing green. And that means that the charging is able to begin. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start the charging. Okay, and now it's solid green, which means charging has started. And you see the, the, the charging rate here. So we start up very slowly and gradually ramp the, the charge rate so that the battery can accept the increased power. And this is a, an 11 kilowatt uh, charger on the wall. And this system is very efficient, about 92% efficient, like, uh, like most onboard chargers. So this will ramp up to around 10 kilowatts, 10.2 kilowatts, to reflect that charging efficiency. And of course, the car owner now would have just gotten out of the car and gone back into the house and <laughs> had lunch.